When Barack Obama was a candidate for president, he told Americans what many wanted to hear. Elect him and he would end years of fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq. Now, it's becoming clear Obama will leave office with U.S. troops still in both countries. CCTV's Sean Caleb joins me now in the studio. And Sean, why is it so difficult to leave completely? Well, the United Nations, for example, says that the Taliban is now in more areas of uh, Afghanistan than it has been in the last 14 years since the U.S. invaded in 2001. If you add in the fact that ISIL is making inroads and al-Qaeda continues to find a safe haven in the rugged mountains, it provides more perspective on why U.S. troops will remain there. Fourteen years of fighting, thousands of Afghan civilians and international troops wounded or killed, and no easy way out for U.S.-led fighting forces. We still need training and equipment from the coalition forces. We need their support. They should stay longer in Afghanistan. It was late 2001. The U.S. invaded Afghanistan. The U.S. blamed the Taliban, an Islamic fundamentalist group, for providing a safe haven for al-Qaeda fighters. This was just a month after the 9-11 attack shocked the world. Fighting grew, but at the end of 2002, a year later, there were fewer than 10,000 U.S. forces in country. In 2003, the United States turned its military might and its attention to another fight in Iraq. Shifting focus to Iraq allowed the Taliban to regroup in Afghanistan. And by 2007, with Iraq as the priority, the U.S. had 25,000 troops in Afghanistan. U.S. presidential candidate Barack Obama made ending the war a cornerstone of his campaign. If we have not gotten our troops out by the time I am president, it is the first thing I will do. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. But instead, Obama dramatically raised troop strength. In 2009, the U.S. had 50,000 troops fighting the resurgent Taliban. In 2010, more than 100,000. Meeting in Chicago in 2012, U.S.-led NATO allies said their mission was changing. The troops combatant. The combat troops will be pulled out of Afghanistan by the end of the year. In 2013, only trainers will remain. And as U.S. troops began leaving en masse, international forces were united in their vision for the future of Afghanistan. Our shared goal is for the Afghan forces to be in the lead for security all across the country by the end of 2014. In the end, after all the pledges and promises, U.S. President Obama said this a year ago. I've had unwavering confidence in our troops uh, and their performance in some of the most difficult situations imaginable. That job is not yet done. Yes, also many American generals and leading lawmakers have said for a long time that U.S. troops need to remain in the country after 2015, so today's decision should not come as a huge surprise. Now, these U.S. forces are not supposed to be on the battlefield. However, U.S. President Obama today made it clear that special ops will be working with drones continuing to do counterterrorism work. Elaine? Will a few thousand troops who remain in Afghanistan really make a difference? Well, it's been so long. I, it, it's, it's a good question. It's a fair question. And a lot of people are probably wondering that tonight. Just think about what happened in Kunduz this past week. An overwhelmingly large number of Afghan troops were overrun by the Taliban. And then the U.S. troops came in, backed them up, and eventually drove the Taliban out. So while the, ta while the Afghan forces continue to work, to continue to become a fighting force, they are going to need to have an international force there led by the U.S. So yes, just a few thousand troops can make the difference, keep that country from sliding com completely into civil war. All right, Sean Calebs, thanks for that.